I cannot believe that I'm awake at 6.30. This is so out of character for me. But this is what I should do. Honestly, I feel like I've got the best schedule, or the best schedule that I've had was like, la pretty much every summer for the past like three, when I had this city job. Because what it would end up being is like, I had a perfect routine. Wake up at like 4.30, cardio, 6.30 to 2.30 work, lift, chill. And it was just a perfect cycle. So every time I stay up super late and I get scrappy sleep, and then if I don't get a lot of sleep, then I sleep early the next day. It's just a back and forth. And it's fucking nuts. Really, I should just give myself a lockdown bedtime like a six-year-old and actually stick to it. But enough chatting. Plan pre-cardio is 200 grams of golden grams, three cups of milk. Uh, I didn't have whole milk. All I had was 2%. I got to add up the macros on that, but... You know, it's whatever, 150-ish grams of carbs, something, fats, proteins. Of course, I'm going to kind of calculate it in a minute, plug it into my phone. But I'd say more importantly than that is just getting it down. So in a bulking context, similarly to with life, I'd say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And not just arbitrarily. I'd say the rate at which you can get calories in earlier in the day, you know, the higher that rate is, the easier it's going to be for you to actually hit whatever your actual calorie goal is for the end of the day in a bulking context, of course. So let's say I didn't eat this bowl of cereal, how many calories it ends up being. And maybe I didn't have anything after cardio and I like went straight to class. You know, before you know it, it could be noon. It could be like three and you haven't really eaten, eaten anything substantial other than maybe just snacks or something. And then if you're trying to bulk up and let's say you've got like a calorie goal of 4,000 calories. You gotta eat 4,000 calories per day to actually gain weight on a noticeable scale. If it's already three o'clock, you've lost half your day. You've gotta eat an amount of calories before you go to bed which would be the same rate of eating 8,000 in one day, right? If you're eating 4,000 just in the second half. Just doesn't make sense. So when it comes to, honestly, same thing with dieting too, spreading out your meals evenly throughout the day, I say that's probably your best bet. Because you gotta remember, what's the name of the game in a bulk? It's to not feel full, right? It's to eat a meal, wait your two hours or whatever, and then be hungry enough to eat the next one. So if this breakfast ended up being, you know, this bowl of cereal, and instead of just this, maybe I tried to eat like two muffins and, uh, I don't know, whatever. Another extra like 700 calories or something. I'm not really gonna be hungry in two hours. It's just gonna be too much food, you know? So when I'm bulking, I wanna kinda have a steady flow of calories in which doesn't put me in a position where I'm like, oh fuck, I can't eat anymore. Oh, and then, you, as soon as you do this, in a bulking context, and you walk away from whatever your bowl of food was, you're setting yourself up for a pretty likely degree of failure. Right? Best practice, only stand up when the plate of the bowl is empty. But opposite to that, if you're trying to cut down, you're trying to stay as full as possible for as long as possible. So if you, this is kind of a classic approach I feel like I see a lot. It's like people will sort of, uh, they'll almost treat dieting as though it's like a temporary state, right? Where it's like, okay, I made it to lunch. I didn't have anything. All I drank was water or all I had was a coffee. Okay. All right. I won't eat. I'll just have a salad or uh, I'll, no, I'll just have something small. And then, you know, maybe it's, maybe they make it to you know, six o'clock at night, eight o'clock at night, and they've only had maybe 1,500 calories for the whole day, or even less, maybe only 1,000, you know, which if they were to go to sleep and repeat the process, they would definitely be in a calorie deficit. They'd lose body fat over time. But what happens is if you kind of starve yourself like that, or you sort of, you know, push away food even though you're actually hungry for it for the whole day, by the time night comes around, 
you are in a situation, <laughs> you are in a state where you open the fridge and you see a you know, pint of ice cream in the little drawer. Yeah, what's one spoonful going to do? Yeah, okay, what's two spoonfuls going to ah, Before you know it, you've had fucking 800 calories worth of ice cream in three minutes. What was the point of all that effort during the day, you know? And I'm not saying this just because I'm guessing. I've done that before, like a total fool. Right? And in my mind, I'm justifying. I'm like, oh, I'll just make it a refeed day. Ah, you know, pure mental weakness. But there is a way to mitigate that by making the day easier. So rather than doing like a, I mean, pretty much like a fast in a way, just really skimping on calories all day and then being fucking starving at night and you just like, you've literally had a biological urge to get more calories into your system. You know, instead of doing that, I find, you know, well, I always skip breakfast because I like doing fasted cardio when I'm dieting. Not because I think it's any better, but I just kind of like the feeling. Plus then if I flex or like look at myself in the mirror after doing the cardio, when you're cutting down, you got a really slim stomach. You don't have so much food flo floating around in here. So it's kind of cool. But, you know, after my cardio is done, you know, I'll have like a high protein breakfast, 50 grams, not much in terms of carbs. Usually I end up just making a big omelet with egg whites. So, you know, 50 grams of protein worth of egg whites, that would be like about 14 and then I'll, you know, I'll mix in a bunch of ground up lettuce, spinach, add like two slices of cheese in the middle, flip it over on itself. And that ends up being like 500 calories and that's sick. And I have meals like that evenly throughout the day. So, you know, if this is my hunger bar, rather than keeping it low, 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 oh shit, I'm fucking starving. And then having to spike it, right? Doesn't it just make sense to keep it kind of, keep it even, keep it even the whole day. You know, that's what I say about that, though. So, I'm going to sit here, play on my phone for another... Well, however long it takes to finish this. And then we can get in the car and go do 30 minutes on the seated bike. It's, it feels kind of strange waking up before the sun's up. But i got to repeat this for the time being, at least. Okay, some time has passed since breakfast. I don't know, maybe it was just because I woke up super early, but I didn't even bring the fucking camera bag on the way to do cardio. I don't know what I was thinking. But, 30 minutes done. Uh, this is actually, well actually right now, this is after the arm pump. So this is like way later in the day, but don't think about it too hard. So, 30 minutes of cardio. I mean, it goes by like nothing. You gotta remember, you're playing on your phone anyway. And you can kill hours. You can kill hours just fucking scrolling, doing whatever. So, I mean, is it really that tricky? Right? 30 minutes on your phone, just pedaling. I mean, look, I'm not gonna say it's not any effort. Obviously you are, you know, you are sitting there fucking pedaling. It does kind of burn a little bit. But seated bike is not that bad. Uh, so I will I do get a couple of comments that kind of ask like why do I prefer the seated bike to anything else and Guess what? It's not just arbitrary. I do have a reason So let me just sort of break it down for you Let's think about this. What do we usually have at our disposal? Well, you just got the world you could go out for a run You've got the treadmill You've got the elliptical You've got seated bike. Now you've got the, the bike where the pedals are like below your butt, where it actually kind of simulates a real bike, not like the, uh, the recumbent one that I like. And then the Stairmaster. Actually, no, or you could jump rope, or you could do the, um, the ski machine. I mean, there's a, there's a fucking billion, but let's just leave it at that. So when it comes to running, yeah, you're not going to catch me fucking running. Uh, knees would be destroyed. I'm not a runner for sure. Maybe if you put me in some Nike... What are, what are the really fancy running shoes? Superflies? Air? I don't know. You know the ones with like the real special foam. It like boosts you forward. Maybe you put me in one of those. Give me a light jog. It probably wouldn't hurt my knees. But you got to remember, I'm a heavy dude. Right? How heavy are these normal runners? Uh, 
maybe a hundred something pounds, you know? I guess not all of them, but running, not on the table for me. And also, it's just a little bit too intense, you know? So, I'm not gonna say every cardio session is a fucking, you know, high intensity fucking chasing a runner's high level. Really, it's, all I need is an elevated heart rate for, you know, my 30 minutes. <clears throat> so either way, running, not my deal. But, nothing against it, apart from the fact that it could be a little bit harder on your knees and your ankles. But, I'm not a fan. Now, treadmill, I've been a treadmill user for a while. Uh, I'm usually a three and a half mile an hour, five percenter. That's usually how I roll. And then, the only issue with that is, it's not as quick. <clears throat> I don't break a sweat until maybe 20 minutes in, and the machine doesn't say that I burn, you know, 300 calories until like 45 minutes. <clears throat> so it's just not as efficient. And if I want to go extra quick, then it's just a little bit, well, it just feels a bit more difficult instead of kind of a mindless walk. Like if you walk in the treadmill at three miles an hour, it's very mindless. It doesn't take much. And, you know, Assuming you're in the gym, you'll probably break a little bit of a sweat, for sure. But for me on the treadmill, to get 300 calories, or whatever the machine says is 300 calories in 30 minutes, I end up just getting like a calf pump. I can feel my glutes going a little bit just from the repeated action. It's ugh, not my favorite. Now, Stairmaster. I haven't even touched Stairmaster. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I see clips of actual like full-fledged bodybuilders hitting the Stairmaster so maybe there's something to it which I just haven't realized yet but I feel like it's just gonna fucking light my glutes on fire so really I've just stayed away maybe just because it seems extra hard and uh, maybe I'm just kind of a baby like them but da -da -da. the elliptical that's I don't know seem kind of goofy same thing with the treadmill Stairmaster and the elliptical uh, it sort of requires your hands to be not very still right in front of your face. You know, one of the best things that I like about doing cardio on the, um, on the seated bike, on the recumbent bike, is the fact that my torso is very still. So I can sit there, do my cardio, burn what the machine says is 300 calories in like 30 minutes, and then, the whole time, I get to sit here nice and still and just play on my phone. You know, ideally, I would probably make that time a little bit more productive. Um, there have been times where I was like finishing an, a homework assignment that I had to do right after I would finish the cardio on the bike, on my phone. Uh, and for a while, when I was recording all these videos on my phone, that would be the perfect time to edit them. I'd sit on the cardio bike, you know, halfway through 15 minutes, these things would be done uploading and that'd be the end of it. Now with the you know actual camera, I've got to do it on the computer, but maybe I need to find a more productive use of that 30 minute chunk of time. But a little bit of entertainment isn't bad either. If you've got a real busy day, if you're an actual dude doing shit, it's kind of tricky to just sit and watch a show. So if you're already gonna do 30 minutes of cardio, which you may not be doing, but let's say hypothetically you did, Hey man, that's 30 minutes. That's half an episode of like a hour long show. Or that's just a straight up episode of a shorter show, man. I don't know. Haven't you been itching to watch Breaking Bad? You know that everyone says it's great. Why haven't you started? Why haven't you started watching The Sopranos? Hey man, you do your cardio every day for a whole year. You gotta remember, One Piece episodes, they've got five minutes of filler in the beginning. So every episode is really only like seven minutes. So you can get through about four in one cardio session. You could be caught up on one piece in one year if you watched four episodes for 30 minutes every time you did your cardio. Now, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what you could do. So I think we can go ahead and leave it at that. But da -da -da -da. what else is there to discuss? Not fucking much. Uh, well, I guess where I'm going now, so we're going down to, well, I'm going down. So it's Fuad and Ben. We're doing a hostile supplement 
store meet and greet at Aries Nutrition, which um, I guess by the time this is posted, it will have already happened. So let's just do a little bit of a hypothesis. Will there be a bananas amount of lifters concentrated in one spot? Based on the last meet and greet, you're goddamn right there will be. Maybe I'll, um, <clears throat> maybe I'll splice in the video right now. Or maybe not, I don't know. I've got a little bit of a bad habit of like saying I'm gonna splice in like a picture or a, a something or add like a sound effect in these little car talks and I just do not go back for it. I need to make a note in my phone every time I do it and like look at the camera and say like, okay, eight minutes in, add the, whatever. So other than that, I mean, How's school been going for you, man? Have you been caught up? Are you already behind on your assignments? Not good. Have you been skipping classes? If you're a if you're a college student, I guess if you're skipping classes as a high school student, what do you think? Is that better or worse? They're both bad, but whatever. I am. Um, I'm gonna make it a another. I'm oh, well. I'm really just trying to lock it in. You know, I'm trying to go to sleep on time wake up on time, finish all my projects and assignments, and do actual studying. Everybody, well, maybe not everybody, but for me at least, at the beginning of every semester, I have this urge, I have this sudden motivation to be an academic weapon. Uh, and then, I don't know what happens or what kind of wall I hit, but after a couple of weeks, that motivation just disappears. But I'm gonna try my damnedest to hold on to it. So what else man? What's up with you? What have you been doing? <clears throat> oh. You've been doing league tournaments every night? Four hours of League of Legends every night? Interesting. Interesting. That's a cool way to use your time. Uh, have you been lifting? Oh, we've been skipping the lifts for... Uh, well, I don't know if that would be me. Alright, enough of this fucking... parasocial fake conversation. I, uh... If you're in anywhere near Philly, wherever this meet and greet is, I, I don't have the address. Um, I should probably... Well, I guess by the time this is posted, it won't even matter if I link it. So, whatever. But if you're down there and I see you, if you said, if you say something funny or if you brought kind of like a funny prop or something, then I am sure that I will remember it. I missed my turn. But either way, let me focus on driving. I got to get ready to go through TSA and sit on a fucking plane for a while. So I will see you next time for... Oh, yeah, the video after this is going to be arms, which has already happened for me. I already did the arm day, but it was a sick-ass pump. Two words. Um, hi, wait, what's the, no, 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 that's not right. Two words. Uh, Fast-paced. Actually, three words. Fast-paced and pumped. So keep an eye out for that tomorrow at... 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I, I'm going to try to stop posting these videos so late. Sometimes I get a little bit behind on my editing routine. Another benefit to me sleeping at a reasonable hour and waking up at a reasonable hour. But enough of this post-cardio, post-lift chat. Start doing your cardio. I know if you don't do it. Keep lifting hard. Come on. 2024. I said it earlier. Year of the freaks. Right? Don't let me down. So I will see you next time.